Hey, it's Tim here, coach of Men Who Want More, and this live stream, I'm gonna talk into if you're stuck or if you've hit a plateau, what's missing? Now, I know so many of us are walking through life, we're doing our absolute best each and every single fucking day, and sometimes it just beats you down. Maybe it's been the last few weeks, months, or even years, you feel like you've just been stuck. You feel like you've hit plateaus in your life. You feel like you're no longer growing at the level that you'd like, and therefore the results in your life aren't at the level that you would like. Maybe you're in a deep financial hole, or your health is nowhere near where you'd like it to be. Maybe it's in your relationships, at home, or with your work colleagues. They're just not great. Maybe it's within your business. You've taken some business hits. You've gone bankrupt, or it's just not growing. Or maybe you just feel like you're just unmotivated. You're not very confident anymore. You used to be once. And life has got the better of you, and it's beating you down day by day, and you're just not quite sure what's missing. You're not quite sure where to turn. You don't know what to do and where to go for help. I want to give you some solace and I want you to be kinder to yourself. And if you've followed any of my work, that's a huge part of my journey is being kind to myself. That being kind to yourself will help rather than beating yourself up and having these expectations and standards that you feel you're never meeting. But what's missing? If you're stuck or you find that you're on a plateau, you're feeling like you're plateaued in your life, here's what's missing. Learning. Learning is missing. Your commitment to learn within yourself. Your commitment not to learn the new strategy. So I'm not talking about, say, in your relationships, not learning a strategy in your relationships like date night or appreciation or something of that nature, even though that's good. Not a strategy in your health and fitness like a new gym workout or a different food to eat to burn fat. I'm not talking about the strategies. I'm not talking about the strategies if you're in financial crisis to, to do the, the next course or the next real estate thing or the next wealth thing. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your desire and willingness to grow you. To grow you. Because your outside results in whatever area that you want to improve is a reflection of how you've grown you or lack of. So how have you been learning over the last wee while? The last few days, weeks, months, even years. Maybe you were committed to your self-development, your self-growth, your personal power as I call it, and things were going pretty good. And then you slackened off a little bit, you took your foot off the gas and you stopped learning, you stopped investing in you, and then the outside results over time turned to shit. You get my drift. So what's missing if you currently feel like you've hit a plateau, if you currently feel like you're stuck, is your commitment to learn within yourself, to grow you. To grow your mindset, 80% mindset, 20% strategies. Yet most of us, without knowing, focus so, solely on the strategies. And we wonder why we don't get the progress that we want. Because our mindset, it's our mindset that allows us to implement the strategies, to learn from the strategies, to overcome adversity challenge, and to move forward and progress in our lives. With a higher mindset, a better, an upgraded mindset, you can find increased levels of motivation. When you increase your motivation levels and you have tools to generate that each and every single day, you feel unstoppable. You don't feel like you're stuck. You don't feel like you're on a plateau. Autumn, thanks for jumping on. Agonostopoulos, love that name. I have no idea how I pronounce that, if, if it was correct, but thank you for joining as well. Talking about if you're stuck in your life or you feel like you've hit a plateau, what to do and what's missing. What's missing is your ability to, not ability, sorry, your desire and willingness to learn. To pull yourself out of the vortex of the problem, out of the struggle, out of the challenge, and to come back to you, to learn. So how do you like to learn? Do you like to learn by watching, just like this? Do you like to learn by listening to something audio? Do you like to read? Do you like a combination? That's where everybody's different. So there's no one size fits all. There's no cookie cutter approach here to learning, but you do want to understand how you learn best or how you prefer to learn, and then you want to do more of that. So I'm a big fan of reading. I haven't always been. I'm, I read every single day. It may only be a chapter, a page, or it may be a little bit more time. But I'm committed to my learning each and every single day. Have I got mentors? Absolutely. Do I do coaching? Yes, I do. Why? Because I'm committed to my learning. Because I know if I want to progress in my life, if I want more, if I want to be the best man that I can be, then I need to commit to my learning each and every single day. So if I am stuck, I can break through. So if I do hit that plateau, I get a different perspective to break through to the next level. 
next level in my business, like next level in my finances, next level in my relationships, and next level in my health. Next level in me. Is this making sense? Hopefully it is. Hopefully it's resonating with you that, hey, this is the missing piece to learning. So how much learning have you been doing if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like you've hit a plateau? Are you reading daily? Good stuff, feed the mind. Are you listening to good stuff consistently? Whether it's through videos like this, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's audio through podcasts or audio books. Are you connecting with great people? Other like-minded people that give you good stimulus? Or are you stuck and you're going through those same habitual fucking patterns that you've been going through for the last few weeks, months, even years that aren't serving you, that aren't helping you? I urge you to find a new level of consciousness, a new level of intelligence, to commit to your learning again. And maybe you are learning. Maybe you're watching this and you go, no, Tim, I am learning. Brilliant. I honour you for that. Are you learning at the level that you'd like? Are you retaining it? Are you implementing it? Because common sense isn't always common practice. So it's all well and good to be able to learn, and we need to do that to grow as individuals, to evolve, to transcend where we are. But are you implementing are you executing? Are you practicing? Or are you just addicted to learning without any action? Something to ponder, something to think about, something to ask yourself. Hey Sandra, thanks for jumping on and watching. Autumn, Agonostopoulos, still here, beautiful guys. Hopefully this message is really helping you and if it has, please like and share this video. Maybe you know somebody who's stuck or they've hit a plateau in their life and they just need a different perspective, a different insight, a different distinction. Maybe this could just be what helps them break through that next level and move through whatever they're going through, whatever challenge, whatever struggle. So I appreciate your time. Much, much gratitude here. Learn. Commit to your learning. That's my message to you today. Commit to your learning in whichever way works best for you. Or if you're like me, go, go to war with it and, and learn all day a lot of the day from different angles. Reading, writing, watching, listening. And a lot of it's gonna stick and then practice. That's how you get unstuck. That's how you break through the next level and you don't hit those plateaus and don't stay in those plateaus. Again, hey Ryan, thanks for jumping on late here, mate. Um, appreciate your support. Like this video, share this video. I appreciate it, guys. Much gratitude wherever you're watching from in the world. And it's your time to step into your strength and to be the best man you can be.